Hey guys, this is Viking here. Today I'll be showing you guys how to play Lost Saga with a PlayStation 3 controller. Since a lot of you guys have been requesting this, there are going to be a lot of cuts to the video because I might mess up or even add something that I forgot to mention. But anyways, let's get started and I hope you guys find this video helpful. If you guys don't already have a controller to use, uh, I would recommend the PlayStation 3 Afterglow controller because it's not like the Xbox or the regular PlayStation controllers that they're kind of glitchy with Lost Saga. This PlayStation 3 Afterglow controller works perfectly fine and it's like $30 in GameStop so it's it's a pretty good price and it lasts a really long time and it's just the best. I'm going to show you guys how to configure it and use it in Lost Saga in a bit. Alright guys, once you guys have your controller plugged in, you want to go... Uh, Check the settings. You, by doing that, you go to Control Panel. You go to Hardware and Sound. By the way, I have Windows 8 device and printers. And let me plug in mine real quick. It's like a file. And there it is. Pops up right away. Uh, you want to right click it and hit Game Controller Settings. The status should be okay. Your properties. Over here, you want to make sure that all your button works. Uh, you should be hitting each button to see what button is what number because it's going to be important when you apply it to Lost Saga. Uh, next, I'll be showing you guys how to uh, set heroes and all that good stuff so you could actually use it in Lost Saga. Once you guys made sure that uh, your controller is working fine and everything, you want to start off Lost Saga. And uh, in Lost Saga, this is where you're going to be... Uh, Configuring buttons, setting heroes to all that. Um, I'm gonna. I don't even know if I'm gonna go to my sheer or plaza or whatever, but you, oh, you guys will have to have your controller plugged in and on before starting Lost Saga, or else it will not work. You guys have to have your controller on and plugged in before you start Lost Saga. So uh, let me go to my HQ, see if it's really working. And yep, it is. As you can see, it says you can't switch. Right now, I'm using my controller. Uh, once you guys have the controller plugged in, you could uh, go to options. I mean settings. Then over here says control pad. And right here are all the stuff that you could set it to. You would say you want to move up with a certain keystroke or whatever. You just click it, and just like how you set heroes to whatever button you like um there's another way to configure your buttons uh manually without using lost saga by doing that you go to uh let's go to you gotta go to your lost saga folder and what the hell? all right so you go to this folder called save you go to your ign folder and you, where it says um, custom joy key, you right click that. You want to open it with notepad. And these right here, these are uh, keystrokes uh, that are on your controller. Their, their value are special. Each value is a certain keystroke. And for me to um, I don't use uh, one button to use cloak skill, helm skill, armor skill, weapon skill. I just use the helmet and I mean I just use the jump and attack button combination to like use helmet. Uh, so I just took it out by putting some random number because 200 is, as you guys can see, like cloak skill is, it's not assigned for me. It's not assigned at all. You guys could take it out. Uh, but yeah, that is my tutorial on how to use a PlayStation 2 controller. If you guys have any questions, uh, PM me in game or just comment in the video. I'll make sure to to reply and help you guys get all that going down. Um, hope you guys found this video helpful and I'll see you guys in game. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.